Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is brought to you by Artlist because today I'm gonna to be showing you how I pick songs for YouTube videos and my other video projects. Let's jump into it. So I'm really excited to be partnered up with Artlist for this because if you guys don't know, I've actually talked about Artlist on the channel before, before they ever reached out to me. I've actually been using Artlist for probably a year and a half, two years now. And I love it because not only has it probably saved me hundreds, if not thousands of dollars by this point, but it is also just so convenient to find music for YouTube videos because it's just all in one place. So for those of you who don't know, Artlist is a subscription-based music licensing website. So basically you make one payment a year and that allows you unlimited uses of the music on their website for anything. And this is particularly why I use Artlist and not something else. Because you are licensed to use Artlist music on your YouTube videos, on anywhere on social media, uh, for your commercial projects, on TV. Because what I used to do before Artlist was I would have my YouTube licensing subscription where I'd pay a monthly fee for a library for my YouTube videos. But then every time I got a commercial project, I would have to license songs individually. And I ended up paying, you know, 50 to $100 per song for these videos, because when you license music individually, it is so expensive. So enough about how much I like Artlist. Uh, let's jump over to the computer and I will show you how I go about picking out songs for my videos. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro. I have this little sequence here that I'm, it's a work in progress. It's a video shoot with some of my friends' cars and we haven't shot all the footage yet, but it's just, uh, it's got like this 30 second sequence of like washing cars and stuff. I've already added like a temporary color grade and I did the footage a bit. So now I just need to find some good music for it. So I've purposely left these clips kind of longer than I intend to use because I'm going to edit to the music, but I don't know what the music's going to be yet. So. I'm leaving the clips longer. So I'm gonna head over to Artlist. I'm already signed in, so this is the main page here. So as you can see, there's a bunch of new songs on here. They say new next to them. But I'm just gonna go through and give a few a listen. I'm not really sure what vibe I want for this yet, so I'm gonna try a few different genres. As you can see, this is the genre right here. So this is cinematic. Mm, that's not really the vibe I'm going for here. So a couple things to note here, you got your artist name and the song name over here. You got the genre of the song right here. Uh, this little microphone here means the song has lyrics. Um, if there's no little microphone, then there's no lyrics. That's a feature I really like for YouTube videos because when I'm playing music underneath my voice, I don't want you to hear, I don't want my voice to be competing with lyrics of a song. So you can go and just do this and it'll filter out all of the songs with lyrics. Uh, but for this case, I think I want lyrics. Now, when I first get on our list, I like to just look through the some of the new stuff just to see what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna go over, I like to search by mood, mood and genre. So I'm gonna start with mood. I'm gonna go, let's try epic and powerful. And then for genre, uh, I'm gonna try hip hop. Now something else I can do because you can preview the songs in here is I could play a song and then go and play through my sequence and see how it fits. I kind of like that one. I'm going to download a few of these. So uh, you go, I'm going to go ahead and hit this button, which is going to add it to my cart. And also like you can see the waveforms here, so you can skip to where the song gets interesting. Give that one a try too. I actually like this song, but not for not as a fit for this. All right, I actually really like that song. Um, so I have a feeling that's the one I'm gonna choose for the edit, but I'm gonna download all three of these and give them a try. So I'm gonna click on my cart, check out. And then it's my songs are waiting in my inbox, but you can also just click here and see all of your previous downloads. So I'm gonna download the wave file for each of these because wave is a little higher quality than mp3 from what i understand now you can also download the license file this is just proof that you are you have licensed for this song in case you need to show it to someone or now i'm going to put these songs into my project folder close art list and then bring in our music 
All right, so I got my three songs in Premiere Pro. I'm already not feeling this one that much, but I'm just gonna play it along with the clip and just see how it goes, and then I'm gonna edit it down. Yeah, so I'm not really a big fan of that one. For this, it's I, I kind of want more of like a chill vibe for this video. Now this is much longer than the actual edit, so I'm gonna have to cut it down. You can really see how just changing the song can actually really affect the feel of the video. Like without changing anything else, it just gives it a completely different mood. So I like that song better, but I think the one I mentioned earlier is going to be the winner. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, so now I just have to edit the I have just have to cut the clips down until it matches the beat of the song. So now I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so there we go. That sequence is all edited down to just under 30 seconds now. Um, it's edited to the music. So let me show you what the final product looks like. All right, and that is how Artlist is, comes in so handy when I'm making these videos. So if you wanna get Artlist, if this is something that interests you, their subscription costs $1.99 a year, and this gives you unlimited access to every song in their library for whatever purpose you want it for. And to some of you, $1.99 a year might seem like a lot just for music, but when you look at how much it costs on other websites to license songs individually, because like I was saying, I used to have a subscription service that only applied to my YouTube video music, and then I would have to license songs individually for the commercial projects I did. And I was ending up spending like a hundred dollars for each individual project I was doing because I had to license one or two songs for each project. So if I was doing two commercial projects a year, that was already the cost of an artless subscription right there. And the fact that I can just pick out a few new songs for every single YouTube video I do is great because they're always coming out with new songs on the website as well. Not to mention the music on Artless actually sounds good compared to like, you know, the stock YouTube music that they let you use and or some royalty free, like free website. Like this stuff doesn't sound like elevator music. It sounds like high quality music. And by using it, you're supporting indie artists. So I think it's pretty cool. So if any of this interests you, click the link in my description. If you sign up for a one year subscription with my link, you get an additional two months free on top of that. So 14 months total. And any song you download with an active subscription, you can use even after that subscription's over. So even if your 14 months are up, you can continue to use songs that you've downloaded while you had the subscription, which I think is pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to Artlist for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.